So like I was saying before, this is the Halloween house tour of our house in 2018. There's the backyard. Here is in the living room, we have all these really cool coasters. Um, that one says spider venom, which is brew. They just say like little like potion type things, drinks. Uh, I got this figurine from, the cat figurine is from Target last year, I believe, or the year before. And then I think that thingy is from Home Goods, And that I think is from Target probably three years ago, three or four years ago. I love that setup though, for some reason how it looks. Now my house is messy because like I said, I haven't really had time to clean. This is uh, my daughter's play area. It did look nice for a minute, but I set up another thing. That little thing is from Target also. I love the little like stuffed plushes. They're some of my favorite things to decorate with on Halloween. That little witch's hat is like a votive, but you can put a candle in it. It is from my mom. She gave it to me. And then Penelope decorated that. It has a little card that she got from ooh, either my mom or her Titi, which is my sister. This is our Halloween trick or treat bucket that we got from Mickey's Not So Scary uh, last year when we went with my mom, my husband when he got back from his deployment, and me, Penelope. I wasn't pregnant yet. Here's another little thing that Penelope decorated. That pumpkin, I think it's votive. It's ceramic. It was from Goodwill. That is the things that go bump in the night. My mom actually cross-stitched that. Uh, that's a little trick-or-treat bag. That is from a painted pottery. Or Color Me Mine Studio in Huntington, West Virginia that Penelope decorated a few years ago. That witch is from Target. I love pumpkin signs like this because it reminds me of um, my childhood. My mom had a lot of things like that that you could like put on the wall and they look just like that. So you'll see a lot of recurring like pumpkins because it just reminds me of my childhood. I love it. All right, this is my bookcase. Yes, again, it's messy because I'm like Molly Weasley, like we we have stuff, but we don't really have the money to make anything look classy, but I guess you don't need to because it's minimalism, but whatever. Okay, so up at the top, um, Harry Potter books. Don't mind them and a giant Thanos and a diadem. Um, these two, I think, are both from Target from either last year or two years ago. They're some of my favorites. I especially love that ghost. And I think it kind of goes with that cat over there, I think. And then we have these, which we got from Target this year. My mom got them for us. Because she got two for herself, too, before she went back to Hawaii. They're cute. And then this is from, I think it was like $3 from the dollar spot at Target. I don't really know what you're ever supposed to do with them. Cause it's like you put stuff in there, but candy would just fall out. So they're just decorations. Baby socks. <laughs> coins. This is my, not to veer off topic, but this is my father-in-law's coin. He's commander um, of security forces. But yeah, that's his very large coin. This is the size of the average coin. Um, anyway, these are my little skeletons. See, I love, I just love the way they're decorated. They're so cute. Let's see. In the hallway, we have this, which Penelope got from, I think my mom sent it to her. It might have been from like Michael's or something, or I don't know, but she decorated that or, well, she painted it. And then, yes, my very messy kitchen. But that is my little wall hanging. That's one of my favorites. And see what I said with the pumpkins? It just reminds me of my childhood. So get ready for real mess. <laughs> uh, this is my kitchen, which it looks so bad right now, guys. I'm so sorry. Everybody's been there, though, so don't critique me. That little, I think it's a zombie or it's a monster. I'm not sure. It's from Target. Last year. 2017, I believe. And then those... Ooh, those might...
might both be from Target too, or that one I think might be from Kohl's. I have a lot of Halloween towels. They all have been in sets, but I'm just not sure. Um, my mom sent me that. I don't know where it's from. I'm gonna say Target, because I feel like it's where I've gotten everything. Bath and Body Works, of course. I love that one. No, there's no scent in it. We didn't really get to getting any fall scents this year. Oh. Yes, it's still dirty, I know. But that's from, that's from Bath and Body Works too. Ceramic mummy trigger treater. All right, this is our back door. Um, one of my other favorite setups. So these are my plants. But see, again, the trio of pumpkins. Target. That is not Halloween. I have that up all the time because I got it from the Tattoo Expo in Hawaii. And I love sugar skulls. I know it's not kid-friendly. Don't. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm coming from the European state of mind because I lived in Europe for three years, but body love, I mean, I don't see any issue with it, with having kids and having that up. Our scratch off map, and then here's our little Halloween set up in here. It is Target. Ooh, Target. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna say Target too. These are just like hollowed out books. I guess you can put stuff in it. We don't have anything in it, but Sorry, let us set up in here. So this is really dirty in here, guys, but um, did anybody notice that McDonald's didn't do these this year? They've been doing like buckets forever and they didn't do it this year. Uh, my mom made me these placemats and I love them. I put them out every year. Love, love, love. All right, we're almost done, I believe. Don't mind my dogs my askew mat again from my mom when she moved to Hawaii and then this is a wreath that my mom made jeez my mom does a lot for me my mom and I are really close um, but it says sorry we're out of candy or on the other side it says oh, let me get that back on my like, trick-or-treat or like come get the candy so right now I have it as out of candy, but tonight, since it's Halloween, we'll switch it to come get the candy. Okay, my, this is my husband's like station where he puts all the stuff when he comes home. So here is our record player and it's on top of our antique sewing table. But we have this hand, which is one of my favorites because it reminds me of Adam's family. Um, it's votive. There's actually a cotton candy candle in there right now, so it's not really Halloween-y. That was from Target like four, four years ago. Scentsy. Um, I think it was on sale last year, that's why I got it. <laughs> this part is lovely. Again, baby wearing. She's sort of topsy-turvy in it. But I think this, this one and that one came together at Target. This is something my mom gave me from my childhood, which is just a little like, I don't know, it lights up. And I used to play with it when I was a kid. And so that's why when I moved out, my mom gave it to me because she wanted me to have something special like that that my kid could play with. Uh, soap from Bath and Body Works, <laughs> toothpaste, little photo that my mom gave me, and then a little boo. Nightlight from Bath and Body Works also. Home Goods. Oh no, you can't really see it. Okay, so Yankee Candle, and it's just a little odor, and I got three candles for it, which I haven't even opened this year since we're supposed to be moving, but I got Forbidden Apple. It smells like green apple kind of mixed with pine or something. It's good, but again, I haven't opened it, so I haven't even got to see like the cool effect. But that's okay. Oh, I also got this this trick or treat sign from Target a few years ago, and then one of my favorite little signs is this one, which is on my laundry room door. It says Happy Halloween. It's from Target too. I love the way that bat looks with its little little boy hat. Okay, let's 
see, um, my outside decorations aren't much because, well, I have a newborn. It's kind of hard to put anything up. And I think one might. Okay. So my outside decorations. Don't mind my car. Very dirty. So that pumpkin is ceramic, and you can put lights in it. Home goods. And then I have some little, my mom got these last year with my daughter. These little wooden stake signs. Two little blow ups, which I never did as a child, but I think they're fun. And they make so my daughter isn't scared of the big blow ups because we say that they're just balloons, like our two blow ups. Our flag. Um, strings of pumpkin lights. They remind me again of something I had as a kid. And then just regular twinkle lights. I have a whole lot more lights, but I didn't really have time to put them up with a one and a half month old, one month old, I guess when I started decorating. She's two months and still like super high strung, so I still haven't had time. These are these were from the BX here at Robbins. Those twinkle lights and those were from Target last year, I believe. And then <laughs> they went really simple with the pumpkins this year, so one pumpkin. And then So it's just our Halloween house tour in 2018 uh, from Robbins Air Force Base. And I don't know if anybody else is really going to care about this, but I'm filming it with my phone because I don't have a fancy camera. And I don't really have time to get out a camera with one, two children. That sounds really lazy. I'm really sorry about that. But anyway, uh, it's Halloween. 